coming up. One wish came true. It looks like we'll have a chance <laughs> to get outdoors this weekend without the old umbrella. A nice change new umbrella. Of pace. That's right. And Brian's starting a little early. He's out visiting the Art Deco Festival. Brian? Well, you know what? We'd be so cool, we'd be hot here on Miami Beach. And neighborhood weather is coming up live from the Art Deco capital of the world, Miami Beach, in just a minute. Coming up, Brian's going to get some gold medal help. Some people would say he needs it. <laughs> Neighborhood weather, and we know better, live from Fort Lauderdale Beach. Brian? Good afternoon from the International Swimming Hall of Fame, along with... Greg Luganis. And we're here not for swimming, but for diving. We have some divers ready. If you're ready, ladies and gentlemen, go ahead and do it. We've got big festivities this weekend. Go ahead. And uh, all weekend long, championship diving here in Fort Lauderdale. And we'll be back with neighborhood weather coming up next. Coming up, Brian gets some help from ABC. Uh, some help from some friends. Neighborhood weather live from, of course, Fisher Island. Hello, I'm Brian Norcross from Coral Gables. And I'm Spencer Christian from New York. Good, good afternoon, afternoon, South Florida. <laughs> we're having a heck of an afternoon here with the help of Good Morning America. You know we're from Fisher Island. As you look back toward downtown Miami on an improving South Florida afternoon, we're coming back next. And coming up, Brian solves a mystery of South Florida history. Wasn't aware there was that much mystery about it. Oh, of course. Well, well, we'll find out with Neighborhood Weather live from Coral Gables. Brian? Good afternoon, Art. You know, normally when you have a lighthouse, you've got some water. Here in Coral Gables, we have a lighthouse, and it's right in the middle of Alhambra Circle. What's it doing here? Well, believe it or not, it wasn't even a lighthouse. I'll tell you about it when we come back with Neighborhood Weather live from Coral Gables in just a minute. And just ahead, Ryan takes a train ride back into history. His neighborhood weather live from Southwest Day. Brian? Arch, you've all seen this picture of President Harry Truman on the back of a train. Well, folks, I'm on the back of that very same train here. Truman used it, FDR used it, Eisenhower used it. And I'm going to take you inside this presidential train as we take a look back in history when neighborhood weather comes back live from the Gold Coast Railroad Museum in just a minute. Thank you, Alan. Just ahead, neighborhood weather with some young forecasting fans. Oh, I think there's a lot of them out there. Brian's weather outlook live from Davey. Michelle, I want to introduce you to a bunch of budding young meteorologists. It's Davey Cub Scout Pack 118. What's your name? Brian. Jerry. Adam. Brian. Ricky. Jason. Shane. Michael. Two Brian's in the batch. That's three here. Now I'm an honorary member. That's your neighborhood weather coming up live next from Davey. <laughs> And I'm watching through a television screen. Brian? Oh, uh, well, I need a little help here to do the weather in the woods. This uh -oh. guy's name is uh, Davey. And can you believe this? This is a rainbow boa. And uh, where are you going, fella? Here, come on back around here where I can see where you are. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're here at the Secret Woods Nature Center in uh, Broward County. And it's just to the west of uh, I-95 on State Road 84. I mean, I had no idea it was here. It's a spectacular, I can not stress that enough, spectacular spot. Tonight at 8 o'clock, they're going to take you on a walk through the uh, woods uh, here and show you about the nighttime stuff and the owls and everything else that's going on here in the middle of Broward County. As uh, Davey heads for the trees here, let's uh, check their road weather up and down the Gold Coast this afternoon. Good looking afternoon. Hey.